In New Jersey, the Rylan Inn is a sensationally popular facility that features the eclectic menu of chef proprietor Craig Shelton. His impressive credits include work at Ma Maison in Los Angeles and La Cote Basque, Le Bernardin, and the Rainbow Room in New York. His meat course is sort of a celebration of lamb and includes a variety of baby lamb parts. Here is the leg, the hind leg. Here is the shoulder and or foreleg. We have the racks. And we have the various organ meats that we will work with. The sweet bread, the brain, the tongue, the liver, the kidney, and the heart. All of these will go into the dish. Now to cook them, we're going to cook the, the shoulder the longest because it has the most connective tissue. It's going to cook for an hour and a half to two hours depending on the size of the animal. The leg will cook slightly less. We're going to leave that. The shoulder we're going to cook well done until the meat is just falling off the bone. The leg on the other hand, we're going to cook until it's just rosy, nice and pink. When we, when we cook the rack of lamb, we're actually going to turn it into chops so that each person is going to get two chops. And that's the way they look. Little baby chops, as small as you've ever seen. The principle we use here is to roast everything at the lowest temperature possible. As long as you don't get moisture, too much, if it's too low, you may get a moist oven. It's the balance is to, to roast as low and as long as possible. When you do that, the meat will be far more tender, far more juicy, and far more development of flavor. The biggest problem in cooking is trying to rush things and go too fast. The chef starts by searing the lamb shoulder in olive oil. It has been seasoned with salt and pepper. And it is browned on both sides, then roasted on a bed of mirepoix and lamb bones. When I have basically just gotten a little bit of color on it, I take it out of the pan. And I sear off all the other joints that we're going to work with. Now into the same pan, I'm going to add some of the bone trimmings, some fresh thyme, and some vegetable mirepoix, which onions, celery, carrots, The vegetables and bones are first warmed on top of the stove. You want to drive out all the moisture in this before you put the other joints on and roast it in the oven, because if it starts to steam, then you're gonna have problems with your roast. You can get to develop some off flavors and the meat can get tough. When you're roasting, moisture is, is, is problematic. Butter and olive oil are added to the pan. When it stops foaming, now's the time we can put the, put the roast into the oven. Since the shoulder will take longer to cook, it goes in first. But the leg and saddle are also cooked on top of this medium. They're added so that all the cuts finish together. Okay. Now we're going to put into the oven. Baste every 15 minutes and turn once. Joint. The sweet bread, brain, kidney, and chop are cooked in different ways. The sweet bread is dusted with wandra and sauteed. Into the steamer at, a, at a high pressure, at a very high temperature, we're going to put the brain. That will cook about 10 minutes. Having watched that lamb cooking now for almost two hours, pull it out of the oven. And once again, you have the saddle the hind leg and the shoulder. We can take these out of the pan right now and we'll start to assemble our sauce. This is begun by adding lamb stock to the pan. And we're going to let that simmer very, very gently for about 20 minutes. 
After straining, the liquid is reduced. The sweet bread is basted in butter with fresh thyme. Just before presentation, the lamb chop is quickly sauteed and the steamed brain is done. The sweet bread is fully cooked now. Brain is fully cooked from the steamer. And I'm going to baste this lamb chop just like I did with the sweet bread. Fresh thyme. And now that this is just about cooked, the kidney goes in and just for a few seconds. Note that it is skewered with a piece of rosemary. The lamb has rested and is carved. I'm going to take right from here a nice little chunk, which I'm going to open. And then I'm going to slice nice and thin. Now I'll take the shoulder. And there's a beautiful little triangular piece right in here, which is my favorite. And I also like these, this little piece right here at the end. And finally, we're going to take the loin, the saddle. We're going to take a little bit of what on the bottom is the tenderloin. And from the top section, which is the loin. The sliced lamb is warmed with a variety of vegetables before presentation. It includes braised artichoke, carrot, pearl onions, and an assortment of green beans. Oven-dried tomatoes are also included. And finally, we're going to take those little organ meats and introduce them around the dish. chop goes on top. Lastly, the sauce. 